so many roads to choose. Start out walking and run to We've only just been. everyone and welcome back to the channel we just spent the past five weeks in utah it is such a beautiful place yeah utah wasn't even on my radar before van life and it's just like nothing else we've ever seen maybe it's because we're east coast people but it just felt like we were on another planet the whole time <laughs> i've been telling everybody that even if they're not van lifers that they should figure out a way to come out and visit utah because there's so much to see and we're hoping that you'll enjoy the highlights today if this is your first time joining us, I'm Alicia. And I'm Rachel. And we've been traveling around and figuring out how to live a slower life. So if that sparks your interest, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can join us as we continue to figure out what it means to go, go slow, slow down. down. We started our journey at Zion National Park but it was too hot to leave the dogs in a van to do any long hikes. So we headed to the mountains to find cooler temperatures and took a relaxing drive through Dixie National Forest. We found a secluded site on BLM land in Cedar City. After a few days, we packed up and headed to Bryce Canyon. Our first day there, we decided to hike the iconic Bryce Amphitheater. Bryce Canyon is known for having the most hoodoos in the world. The views here are absolutely incredible. 10 out of 10. I mean, in a place like this, it's hard not to feel alive. Oh, dying, my life. <laughs> So after visiting a few national parks, I think we finally figured out our perfect formula and it's three things. First, we head to the visitor center because it gives us a lay of the land and gives us an idea of what we should do while we're there. Second, we always try to do at least one hike. Sometimes we do two smaller ones, sometimes one more of a moderate hike. And lastly, we love to do the scenic drive, which is what we're gonna do today. So we downloaded the National Park Service app and they have a self-guided tour so you can listen to some interesting facts of all of the stops that you go on. Perhaps the crown jewel of the Southern Scenic Drive, Natural Bridge never fails to impress. The app also has a ton of other helpful features. It has all of the hikes in the park, places to stay, things to do, and all of the hours for different things like the visitor centers, museums, things like that. It's super helpful. We highly recommend that you download it. We purchased our National Parks Pass maybe nine, 10 months ago in Michigan. We've already been to four or five national parks, two lake shores and the seashore. So we really got our money's worth. Well, that is a wrap on Bryce Canyon. We are about to head out, pick up some food and head to our next stop. You're so terrifying. Next, we headed to Kodachrome Basin State Park and stayed at their campgrounds for a night. feel like I'm in another times. Do you feel like you're in the Flintstones a little bit? A little bit, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Inside the mountain. This is crazy. Now I really feel like Barney and Fred in the Flintstones of the Glory. <laughs> That's your couch right there. Yeah. <laughs> Go slow down now. Okay, come here. This way. Go. Go ahead. Go. Like I'm in Star Wars or something. Like this is just like I don't know. There's a place up by Moab that they use for astronaut Mars train. Mm. We really came here because this is one of the international dark sky locations and we wanted to check out the stars, but the moon was just too bright. Kind of looked like a street lamp outside of my window last night. We may not have gotten a chance to see the beautiful sky, but we did get one of the most amazing showers we've had since we've been on the road, a great laundromat, and now we're on this beautiful hike. The landscape in Utah is unreal. It's just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> It was a great day for a hike, it wasn't too hot, and there was a nice overcast, so the sun wasn't beating on us the entire time. But now it's time for us to pack up and head to our next campsite before it starts to rain. The drive to our next destination was so beautiful. Headed to the campgrounds at Lower Calf Creek Falls, but they were full. So we found a site up the mountain to wait out the rain. The next day we had beautiful weather, so we ventured back to hike the trail there. This is Lower Calf Creek Falls. And we got a little bit of a late start because I had to work. And I originally thought it was a three mile round trip hike, but it turns out it was three miles in, three hours back. So we're gonna get back a little late, but I think it was worth it. Look at it. It was, it's just really beautiful, especially in the middle of the desert. It's awesome, beautiful waterfall. So we're gonna make the hike back. I don't know if you can see the deer. It's right there, there's two of them back there. We almost ran into them on the trail. We got to Capitol Reef National Park on Memorial Day weekend and it was packed. 
We spent some time at the visitor center and then we headed to the Grand Wash Trailhead, which again was packed. It's so cold in here. Yeah, it feels so good. <laughs> it looks like paint stripped down the whole face of that mountain. I definitely was expecting a waterfall or some type of overlook at the end of this vlog, but it was still really nice. Burning some calories. Be better, people. Be better. I don't know if I've ever seen aspen trees before. I feel like I've seen them in like paintings, right? Like this is like a very popular tree to paint because it's so pretty. Yeah. But now we're in the painting. How did you find this place? Um, probably TikTok or Instagram or a children's book. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's three top sources of information. It's usually, I think I read about this in a guided reading book once with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the rain's starting to pick up a little All bit. All right. So we're going to get out of Pando. Because <sighs> one of the rules or one of the things that said, at the first sign of a storm, leave. Because Pando branches fall. Oh, ooh. And we just kept on going. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, don't do what we did. The coolest part is we actually got to sleep right inside of the Pando. After leaving the Capitol Reef area, we were on our way to Moab, but we stopped to spend a couple of nights on the moon. And then we finally made it to Moab, but unfortunately it was a little too hot to enjoy all the area has to offer, but we'll be back. We were able to do the scenic drive of Arches, which just makes me want to go back even more. To beat the heat, we headed north and we headed up and we found one of our favorite campsites in the Uinta National Forest. We have officially made it to Idaho. Uh, we're just passing through this time, but we're headed to Oregon. So if you have any musty spots in Oregon, please make sure to drop it in the comments because we do not want to miss out on any waterfall, any hike. I want to see all the best places in Oregon. And the only way I'm going to do it is if you recommend it. We are going to be spending pretty much the whole end of June and the whole month of July there. So we have plenty of time to see all the things. Um, again, we appreciate you so much. We've gotten a bunch of new subscribers in the past month or so and really appreciate you just coming along on the ride with us. Uh, whether you are thinking about traveling, thinking about van life, or just need in some time to escape reality, we hope that you enjoyed escaping reality with us. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you can continue to follow along as we go, go slow, slow down. down.